channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so first of all uh, my AC unit is going I feel like every time I come out here and film something that thing is going so I hope it's not too distracting but today I am going to finally be redoing this chest of drawers that I've had for about four years now and I am going to be turning it into like a storage for my wood I have a ton of scrap wood in here so I have like really long eight foot pieces um, that are just from past projects that I didn't use I also have a ton of scrap wood that is just like cut into different sizes and pieces that I could definitely definitely use for different projects and so I thought that this chest of drawer would be perfect for that and I am going to transform it into just like this really cute storage for my wood so I've already like pulled out the top drawers I was gonna do something with this prior um but i changed my mind so anyways all the, the top two drawers are gone and i just have the two at the bottom uh so i'm probably going to take the one from the second to the last off and then just have the one at the bottom maybe or i'll probably just take it all out and just use the body of this um so i don't know i do have it sketched out so i know how i want it to look but sometimes you know things change so we'll just see how it goes but I'm super excited today to be tackling this project because I do need it to kind of like make I need to get better organized with my garage first of all y'all and also um, this just scrap wood just having it like this just looks so bad so let's go ahead and let me hop into cleaning this because this piece is like infested with spiders and I don't want any spiders crawling on me okay so the cleaning began and I just came in here with my broom and started to like knock everything out of this because honestly like I said it was a lot of spiders in here and this thing needed to be cleaned out because it has been in the garage for a very long time so I pulled all the drawers out again taking my broom knocking everything out that doesn't need to be in there I removed the drawer track at the top because my vision for this at that time was to remove that drawer track so I did and then after that I came in with some good old raid and I just started to spray this thing down because I then came to the back and I removed the back and while I was removing the back I didn't want any spiders to like just be crawling out. So to remove the back I am just using an upholstery staple remover and I'm just going to carefully remove everything. Finally when I got to the right side of this it was ready for me to just pull this off because it was like ugh, trying to take all of those um, staples out. So after that, again, I'm here removing stuff I don't need. So this bottom piece, I didn't need it. So I'm taking that off. And then also this one little piece in the back, it was bowing. And I don't really need that. So I just took my mallet and I removed it. After that, I just removed the top because I'm not going to need this. And I'm actually going to be using this in a different DIY. Fingers crossed that it actually works, which I think it would. But I'm going to use it for something else. And I'm removing it. So if you've never removed um, the top from a piece of furniture, normally it's fairly easy because most of the time they're just screwed on there. So all you have to do is just unscrew those screws. Uh, sometimes you might have glue and you might need a mallet to kind of help you pop it up. But this one came off with ease and all I had to do was once I removed those screws, I just pulled off the top. All right, so I have completely gutted this thing and now I'm gonna show you what I plan on doing. So I'm not gonna add that bottom drawer anymore. I'm just going to like keep it off because the wood would be like too high at the top and I didn't like the way that looked. So I'm probably just gonna build something out on the side or just do something completely different, but I'm gonna show you my plan for right now and what I'm gonna do. This whole area right here is going to be completely gutted out. So I'm gonna take these off. And then I'm gonna take this aluminum sheet that I love. I got it from Home Depot. This is going to, so this aluminum sheet is going to be the front of this. So I'm gonna have to get two sheets to attach it to the front. So I'm gonna keep my base but I'm gonna get rid of these three, uh, these three pieces of wood. Okay, so the way that I was gonna do this, I had to completely change how 
I was gonna do it, which I knew that was gonna happen because I mean, it always kind of happens to me. But I reconfigured this whole thing and how it was going to look and be set up because I wanted it to be cute but I also wanted to be functional in the way that I was going to do it before. It would just wouldn't have been as functional as it could be, especially because I do get like eight foot pieces, but I only get them like for projects and then I might have a little bit left over, but it's not like there's something that I always keep on hand. So I'm making this more so I have room for my smaller scrap pieces and then also for some longer scrap pieces that might be less than eight feet, but not all the way eight feet and then also my eight feet pieces. So now let me go ahead and start like putting all of this together finally okay so real quick before i start working on it um so this bottom part as you can see is going to be planked this top part is also going to be planked but i just put this little cardboard piece back so i can kind of visualize it and then on the sides i am going to build out using two by twos like an area that will house my eight foot pieces so before I started all that, I just puttied up this area here. Um, this had like the, the little um, decorative like button things that you can put on there. So I just pulled those off a long time ago because <laughs> I've had this forever. And now I am just using putty to putty that stuff up. So first I'm just going to gunk, gunk it all on to kind of fill in the hole. And then I'm going to you know come back over it to make sure it's nice and smooth. All right. So that piece I removed, <laughs> I had to put it back. So I'm just taking my wood glue and I am gluing it back into place and then I am going to take my wood clamps and clamp this together so that it can dry. So then I started to work on my side pieces so this is stuff that I'm going to be adding to the chest of drawer. So I have my two by um, two by threes at the bottom and then I have a two by fours at the top I'm pretty sure there's a two by fours and so um, I am just cutting my two by threes first down to the size that I need and then I'm going to attach those to the side but to attach these to the side I'm going to be creating pocket holes so I just took my jig and I created the pocket holes and then I added those with my drill so after I added the two at the bottom, I just started to kind of build around that. So I'm going to have my other two by threes on the side of that. Then I'm taking this middle piece, cut it to the size that it needs. So it'll be in the middle. And I did the same thing, um, took my jig, made the pocket holes, attached everything with the pocket holes. And that's from the top pieces and the long side pieces as well. Everything was attached with pocket holes and so this left side is also going to be the um, side that I put like my eight foot pieces and things like that so I'm making this the length of the chest of drawer so on the opposite side I decided to make a shorter area so this would be for like pieces that you know I might have cut down that are still like too long to like put in like a basket or something so I'm gonna have this area where I can put those pieces in so again I did that same thing cut down my two by threes made my pocket holes and then I just attached everything over here on this side so next I started to work on the body and I will be planking the bottom and the uh, second from the bottom part too. <laughs> so I'm just taking some 2 by 4s marking them, taking them on to a miter saw and cutting them out and I placed those right back in the bottom and it was so nice because I did not have to cut anything to make it fit into the space because they all fit perfectly in there. So after that I started to work on the top so you know I removed the top but I wanted everything to be like flush together and all like one so I'm just using my two by fours and I'm attaching them to the top so I'm marking them off taking them to the miter saw cutting off where I need it to be cut so I did that that for just this long area here and then I also did it for my little short area on the left hand side and then I started to attach everything using my wood glue and then my nail gun and I just attach it to the top super easy I love when things are super easy and they run real smooth so you know it's so therapeutic honestly to just take your wood glue add the glue and go ding 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 ding, ding with your like nail gun because it's just like ah the best so next I took some poplar board and I'm just going to add those to the little MDF areas to kind of cover it up and have that same wood look. So after I did that, this is what it was looking like so far. So still a work in progress, but it is 
coming together. So the next thing that I did was I sanded everything down on this piece and I just took my time. So I think I used either like, I think I used like a 150 grit and then like with some of the pieces I did like a 80 grit to kind of really take some of the roughness off. Um, I did really kind of like skim through this because I mean it's just for my scrap wood. But um, I did make sure those areas that I filled in earlier, um, you know, I sanded those smooth and everything to get this prepped for painting. So I love to use my blower, so I'm just going to come in with my blower and as you can see I'm just blowing off that extra dust that needs to be blown off. Alright, so I'm going to be using Zinsers shellac lace primer one of my favorites to use and I'm gonna be sealing my wood knots on this piece so I'm just literally painting over those knots and if you're wondering why I'm using this this is just going to make sure that those knots do not bleed or tan later on after that I started to spray this piece so this color is big cypress by PPG and I absolutely love this color it looks so good after that, I started to sand all of the wood that I cut, and then I also stained each piece. So the stain that I'm using, you guys know, is one of my favorites. It is Golden Oak, and I just knew that this stain would look so good with the color that I chose. So after everything was nice and dry, of course, I started to attach everything. So I did end up taking these 2 by 2s and I stained them the same color and then I added those to the front to give it a more finished look. And then I went in with my 2 by 4s and I attached those with my, um, not my glue gun, <laughs> my nail gun. I got the wood attached to the body part now I'm doing my side areas and I'm doing it the same way using my um, nail gun and I am nailing those to those areas and then also to give it that finished look again I did have a two by two that I previously I don't know what project it was but previously I um, took this and I split it in half and so I just added those to that front again to give it that finished look Okay, so this is looking fire. Oh my God, it looks so good. Like, oh my God. So anyways, first of all, this color is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, now I'm just gonna take the aluminum sheet that I had. They are working, they're working on construction over there. So I hope you guys can't really hear that, but I'm pretty sure you will be able to. But um, I'm gonna take the aluminum sheet and I am going to add it to the back. So first I'm just going to um, just staple it and then I'm going to take my 10 snips and snip off the excess. So I love how this looks. So like I said, I'm going to take my cordless stapler and I'm going to take this metal sheet and I'm going to add it to the back. I love this stapler. It's so powerful and oh, it's amazing. Um, so anyways, I'm so glad that I attached this to the back. It still would have looked good in the front. I might do that in another DIY, but I loved it in the back and especially with it still being like open. So after I got most of my metal sheet attached, I just came over here and I started to snip the excess off. So I'm using my tin snips. So these tin snips are so old and I need to get new ones. And also if you're doing this, you probably want to wear like really heavy duty gloves too so you don't cut yourself. Um, but I'm just going to be cutting this off very carefully. And then when I was done cutting off that excess, I just came in with my stapler again and I stapled it. Next, I started to add things here and there. So I'm gonna be making like this really cute shelf. So I'm just taking this piece of wood, marking it where I need to kind of cut it, took it to my miter saw, cut off the excess. I then stained it, sanded it, all that good stuff. And then I added it back into my center area. Okay, so to attach this, I'm just gonna be taking my wood glue and I'm going to add that board to the top. And then also what I did to kind of like make sure it was nice um, in, in place and it wasn't too high up or too low I just took my mallet to kind of help me out and push it into place because I literally cut it like exact and then I also attached the back using some brackets um, well not brackets but um, 
the flat plates that you can get. I don't have footage of that. If I do, I'll add it. But I did add those to the back um, to attach this as well. So after I got that piece attached to the inside, I just took some 2 by 2s again and I'm going to add them to the side here and I'm just going to mark where I want this to be cut at and this is actually going to be where I will be able to hang my wood clamps and I thought this would be a really neat idea so I can just hang them off of the sides. So again, cut it down, added it with my pocket holes and then for that middle piece, um, I just took some nails and I nailed it. And then after that, I took some putty, puttied that area up, and then I painted it the same color as the rest of the piece. After that, I took some excess of that metal sheet that I had because I actually got two sheets, and I'm going to add this to the top. So I just, again, took my tin snips and cut it to the size that I needed, and I'm going to attach it to the top using my staple gun again i did this because at first you know it was supposed to be an open area but then i changed my mind and i didn't want to add my top back because that made no sense so i just added this and i thought it was really cute and it gave it a little bit more character after that i started to work on these wheels so i got these wheels from home depot and i'm going to use my liquid gold it's basically like gold leafing but it's liquid and i am just going to paint that on it dries really fast and i absolutely Absolutely love to use this stuff so I did this to all of the wheels that I purchased so after my wheels had dried I just attached them with some wood screws and on the outer sides I just made sure that those were the ones that had the brakes on them and I just got two of them and I put them on the top outside of this piece after that I just started to place everything that I wanted on and in this piece um, so I had my sanders, I put them in here, I put like my wood glue and stuff like that in here, my speed square, sander, sandpaper, well I meant to say not sander but my block sander, <laughs> sandpaper, um, my level, so different things like that that I would need, I made sure to put it in here. I also put like little short pieces of wood in like this basket down here, my longer pieces of wood, eight foot pieces over here on the right hand side, and then on the opposite side, like I said, the little shorter pieces of wood that were too long um, to kind of put inside of it, I put it on this side on the left. And then Finally, my favorite part about this too is the fact that I can move this around. So I pushed this into the new area that it is going to be over here on the left side of my garage. All right, so that is it for this whole transformation. I love how this turned out. I am so glad that I decided to do this. I added some things here and there. So over here, I just added that extra little bar because I had some shorter pieces that I didn't want to fall forward. Also on the right hand side, I did add a little piece at the bottom too so that my wood wouldn't slide forward the longer pieces my favorite thing too is also the area where I can just hang my wood clamps I'm so glad I decided to do that the inside is just super cute like I said I wanted this to be cute but also functional and that is exactly what this is so I have my little wood pieces down there my wood stains and I just love this oh my gosh I love the fact that it rolls there's just so much that I love about this so much that I thought about that I'm glad that I thought about I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it did give you an idea of something that you can do with old furniture and how you can potentially reuse it for something else if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!